This is ABC 7 News at 4, Chicago's number one news. Are you one of the tens of millions of Americans dealing with excessive hair loss? Today there are new effective hair restoration treatments and procedures that can help you slow the process down or even reverse it. Earlier today I spoke with a Dr. Alan Bauman who told me about new techniques available to identify problem areas in the scalp and restore hair growth. Okay, Dr. Bauman, when we talk about the latest technology, how far have we really come and is it making a difference right now? Oh yeah, in hair restoration we've come light years in a relatively short period of time. I mean, it wasn't so long ago we didn't really have effective treatments. Today somebody can use medications to stop the progression of hair loss. We can use hair transplantation to restore living and growing hair undetectably. Okay. So we've come a long way. Now you brought some fun toys. Let's oh, start yeah. with this one. What is this and how does it work? Um, this is a scalp microscope. It's called the Folloscope. It comes from Korea and it has a high-powered video scope attached to the, to the computer. I have it on my laptop today. Okay. And what we can do is look at hair density and we can look at hair caliber. Okay, and show, show us again, you did this to me earlier, but show what you do. So yeah. a patient comes in, you look at the hair what density. We, what we would normally do is evaluate the hair density and hair caliber in several different areas of your scalp. Now okay. you may have a problem area that you're concerned about, the uh -huh. frontal hairline or recession of the hairline. You may have a thinning density somewhere. But what we'll do is we'll look first in the back of the scalp where the good hair lives. Okay. And so what we see is good quality follicular units. Those are the groupings of hairs. But why do you need to know this? Because as you're going around, you're trying to determine my problem area so you can do something about it? Yeah, we're gonna okay. see that the areas in the back of the scalp are gonna be different than other areas that you may be experiencing hair loss. And so then you might know what kind of treatments that I might need to have. Right. Okay, and what is this one? This is, this is your very own at-home laser, huh? Well, this is a handheld laser device that patients can use at home to treat themselves if they have some thinning hair. Now, this is not a miracle cure. Low-level laser therapy is a relatively new technology, but it's effective in helping the quality of hair growth and probably preventing hair loss. So you're just putting that over the head, well, and, and what's the effect? The effect is photochemical, meaning that the light energy is converted, the light energy is converted into cellular energy when you pass this over the skin. So in the same ways that low-level lasers are used for wound healing and low-level lasers are used for everything from skin rejuvenation, um, pain control, this is for follicles. Okay, so who would get this? Uh, patients who have already progressed beyond the normal standard of care, which is like Propecia for men, Minoxidil maybe for women. They want to try something else perhaps before they move into hair transplantation. And you said something very interesting to me before you we went on camera. You might have more hair loss than you even think because sometimes it's hard to tell just by looking. That's right. The science shows us that you could lose 50% of your hair density without it being noticeable to the naked eye. So that's a problem if you're losing hair. It can also be a problem if you're trying to judge the response from treatments like this. Mm -hmm. And that's why the folloscope is so important. So this can track the results from your various treatments. Okay, great, very interesting information, and we'll have much more on our website too. Thank you. Great. My pleasure. Thanks, Celia. And Dr. Bauman is head of the Bauman Medical Group in Boca Raton, Florida, and is visiting Chicago for the International Congress on Anti-Aging. He specializes in hair transplants and restoration for men and women. So the good news is I have a lot of hair, but I need. To get